Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. We're over here at the Fly and J. We just went down the road, basically, from where the master stake is. And so we're gonna get us some fuel, and then we're gonna go on our uh, on our way to uh, pick up our preloaded trailer, according to them. That's what we're supposed to do. So, uh, and it is cold this morning. It's almost as cold that we could actually get snow, and they're actually saying that we could be seeing some snow somewhere on the road. So we're gonna have to be really really careful on the road when we drive so uh so yeah let's see here we can get our pump going and get us some go-go juice we want to fuel up yeah let's see if we can get, get lucky this morning and getting some fuel so we're just about there i think looks like we are yep Let's get fueling. Yeah, it's still raining a little bit. So, here we go. Let's get her fueled up and we'll see what happens. That was low. The truck pulled his air brakes. That was pretty, pretty low there, but. Anyways, we're getting some fuel, and then once we're done fueling, then we'll head over to our customer and hopefully get our load. So we'll see you in a bit. decided to pop up or at least come out or whatever you want to call it well it didn't really show itself too much yet but uh, at least we got daylight out and here we are we're gonna be leaving right now decided to have us a little bit of a break up here Go for a little walk and all that good stuff and get me a bowl of cereal. Just getting a little hungry so they got a bad pothole right there when you come out so kind of staying towards the right of that road to exit there so that way my trailer doesn't go in the ditch but, but yeah here we are. We are in New Liskeard, Ontario. We decided to go Highway 11 instead of Highway 17. And the reason being is because it was actually starting to snow when I was leaving Toronto. When I was filling up, it was raining, but I knew it was fairly cold. But I knew it would probably turn into snow pretty soon, which it did. And a little bit it had turned into snow. Then we had snow for a little bit. And then it disappeared. And then now we got nothing. Which is nice. It's the way I wanted it. But I kind of figured, well, if I go Highway 17, then uh, I got all them hills and all that. And the lake right there could get a lot of lake effect snow or whatever. I decided, nah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go Highway 11, go down here, and use this road instead. So that's what we did, and here we are. We already got a little about about five and a half hours in the books already. So we did, we did do uh, pretty good. We started pretty early. It was one o'clock when we fueled up over there. That's a.m. 1 a.m. And uh, got our load and got out of there, right? Now we are on our way home. So we should be home tomorrow afternoon sometime. If 
if I decide to leave when early again, which I'll probably do, I'll probably get up early in the morning and get going so that way I can be home tomorrow early afternoon and enjoy the day with the family tomorrow, yeah? Saturday we got all kinds of other things planned so but yeah it looks like this chicken house is up here is closed today no flashing lights which is nice I heard a lot of penner guys are getting inspected up here on this scale never used to be open and now all of a sudden they're starting to be open and they're inspecting a lot of penner drivers which is nothing wrong with that I'm just you know got to do their job it looks like they are in there yeah they're definitely in there <clears throat> I guess they're just having their coffee too which is good for me I guess I can continue on <laughs> I don't really need an inspection right now I just want to go home <laughs> yeah so let's keep the road dry for the next two days to get home and you can make it home safely, right? Alrighty guys, I see some flashing lights up here. Not sure what's going on, but to me it looks like a truck has gone off the road up there, but can't quite make out yet on what exactly is going on, but I do see a truck over there in the kind of in the bush there, so I'm kind of thinking that's what's going on, but I guess we'll see here in a minute what's going on. Looks like almost like a bison truck up here. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> yeah, must have just happened or something. Oh wow, yeah, I see all kinds of skid marks there. Wow. Wonder what happened here. Yeah, he went right into the ditch up there. Wow. Oh well. Yeah. That happens. Cops are there, so I guess they are in control of the situation. So we're going to continue on with our journey. Hopefully, we can do it safely. Don't know exactly what caused it, but there was all kinds of black marks there on the road. So don't know exactly what happened, but and I might never know knows but anyways we'll continue on cruising along here we've been going for a good while now so hopefully we make it home safely tomorrow well guys I have decided to make another pit stop there a few minutes ago I was starting to get a little bit tired there so I didn't want to drive tired so took me another little bit of a break there and uh, then I went and got me uh, Tim Hortons coffee there was a Tim Hortons there so now we feel great guys oh yeah now we got energy again oh it's amazing what caffeine can do for you get some uh, good cup of coffee and oh that just wakes you right up and it just makes you right awake and then you can drive again I don't feel no tired at all whatsoever I'm almost excited now to go and drive again you know <laughs> but anyways we're here in the middle of nowhere on Highway 11 and uh, yeah so I think we got us about another three hours to go and then we'll be done for today. I think that's about as far as we can make her. I think so anyways, so... Maybe four, we'll see how many hours we go yet. But somewhere around that neighborhood. So we'll go ahead and continue on with our journey here. And we'll see how far we make it, right? Yeah. The sun is sort of trying to shine through. And but the main thing is it's not snowing, it's no ice rain, we got dry roads up here, so we got nothing to worry about right now, right? I mean, it's right at zero degrees right now, right at freezing point, so 
we'll see what it will do the next night when we leave again, right? I think we should be all right. I would think so. Alrighty, guys, we are done for today. Yes, indeed. It is 3.30 in the afternoon, or just a little after that now. But when I stopped here, it was 3.30 in the afternoon, and we're in Long Lake, Ontario. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but there's a, well, maybe you will be, the Robin Donuts up there. It's just kind of like a service road down here, and that's all it really is. <clears throat> and, uh... We are allowed to park here, so there is like two trucks right there, and then me, and it looks like this guy wants to park right beside me here, so. Oh well, I guess he's in a hurry to back in here to take this spot, I guess. And this is a bit of a bad area to park, especially later at night, because uh, then uh, it probably get really packed in here, and if you park behind me or something like that, and there's like four trucks on the line like this. How are, how are you going to get out? That's the million dollar question. <laughs> I'm glad I'm right here in the front of the line. But uh, anyways, uh, like I said, we are done for today. So we're going to get out of here in a few minutes. And then uh, we'll go to bed. I'm tired. I am really tired. I've been up since before 1 o'clock this morning. Getting everything ready to go. And... We had us a long day, 1142 kilometers to be exact. So that is a long day. So I uh, appreciate you guys all watching today. We'll be back tomorrow. So don't go nowhere. And we'll see you right here in the comment section below, hopefully. And we'll be looking forward to hearing from you. So see you then. behind me that day is gonna come i'm breaking the walls down